We are just two days from Valentine's Day, so appropriately we're celebrating love. We're looking at a love affair, though, that often lasts a lifetime. We're talking about women in their shoes. CBS 2's Sadie Hughes spoke with ladies in the corridor who are explaining just why slipping into the right pair makes the heart skip a beat. The shoe department here at Von Mar is the store's largest volume department and it also has the largest sales staff. And it makes sense that they're ringing up quite a few sales because in a 67 year lifetime, the average woman spends about $25,000 just on shoes. And the women I spoke with say it's all in the name of love. It makes sense that shoes have souls. I think every woman gravitates to shoes. Because for some women, these are their soulmates. Oh, they Jimmy Chu, Christian Louboutin, Manolo Blahnik. Some people collect Santas and things like that, and this is my collection. Ellen Feller's collection is showcased in her very own shoe shrine. I have um, it, them in color coordinated order. So it starts white and tan and then yellow. And then we start in with the pinks and oranges. We counted more than 260 pairs. Describe kind of the euphoria that comes from these shoes for you. Not only are they shoes, but there's also a lot of attachment behind them. I can tell stories from a lot of the shoes that I wear. So this is kind of an Ellen Feller history. It is. Ellen isn't alone. It seems plenty of women are willing to share the moments lived in their shoes. And their irregular choice boots. And they are like not mass produced. And a shoe has to kind of talk to me, I guess, which is kind of weird. <laughs> When I get them, I get really, really excited and happy, and I bring them home and do my catwalk. St. Luke's therapist Cynthia Vasky says when women shoe shop, chemistry is at work. The dopamine gets triggered, and then it lowers your anxiety, and it allows you to enjoy that process. Plus, psychology. People notice your shoes, and that's fun and exciting, and it takes away that whole focus on body and body image and size. Because when it comes to shoes, size doesn't matter. I think it's the one thing that you can buy that you're usually always the same size in. And sometimes neither does cost. They see a shoe and it goes with an outfit, they want it. When it comes to the choice between putting on a pair of flats or a pair of heels, the flats are often considered, well, just more comfortable. But a recent survey found that 60% of women are willing to be in pain just for a pretty pair of shoes. Heels have always been, for centuries, associated with sex and glamour. And um, so that's where it comes into play with the self-esteem is you just feel more confident in, in high heels. Right here we have a couple pair of Kate Spades and some great spring colors. And what about all those shoes that women seem to let pile up, but rarely wear? Women use shopping as, as a way of therapy. The Crazy Daisy consignment store in Cedar Rapids is a welcoming mecca for well-loved shoes with very little street time. All three would run probably in the 250 range. But here, they're 30 to 40 percent of retail. So for men baffled by the mystery of women's shoes, remember, they can be recycled and there are benefits for men as well. Well, it stretches out legs and it, it, makes, it makes the calf muscle look even more attractive than it usually is. And as Ellen's husband found, the shoe can be an excellent platform for understanding between the sexes. The big thing is whatever, whatever it takes to make them happy. So the next time you hear the musical clickety clack of women's shoes and think. Women just love shoes. Remember, there are reasons for the passion, for the link to the soul. 14% of women hide their shoes from their partner, and even here at Von Mars, sometimes they're asked to keep the box so it's easier to hide those shoe purchases. But hopefully after this story, there's a little more understanding on why women love all of these shoes. We're covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids. Sadie Hughes, CBS 2 News. Did you see yourself in there somewhere?
<laughs> While the shoe collections of the women we spoke with were quite large, a consumer report study found that on average, women own about 17 pairs of shoes. Well, these girls are wearing sneakers and they're quite comfortable in them. Next on Sports.